Welcome back to the Fuel Show, still to come a very special in the pits, but now it's time for our second behind the wheel, the 2007 Silverado. GMC originally introduced their first truck in 1930. The Silverado was the number two selling vehicle in the year 2006, right behind Ford's F-150. It was Motor Trend's truck of the year and North American truck of the year for 2007. Dennis Nian, take a first look at the 2007 Silverado. The first category for the new Chevy Silverado is Q-Factor. It's the gadget or tech score and roll mitigating technology and that easy lift tailgate are two features that I really enjoyed this year. And that's on the outside. What I'm going to do is talk about the inside for a second. Q-Factor in a truck is always hard to gauge because they're trucks. They don't necessarily or traditionally have things on the inside that make them uh, score high in this kind of category, but the new Silverado has an outrageous audio system for the for a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. The doors on the back, now that might be to do with drivability, but the rear doors and the access cab that we had swing all the way around so you have a complete opening to the interior. You add in that GMT 900 chassis, and pay attention, I'm going to say that more than once in this in this behind the wheel, it's, it's the way that they've taken all of their technology to make a truck really feel and drive like a car, and that's going to do well in QFAC. Yeah, other features that I really thought were cool were the power sliding rear window and then it also had the cargo management system in the bed which are rails that have hooks that slide around so you have tie down points for any cargo that you might have. Yeah. Ian, how are we going to score it? We'll give it a four for Q Factor for the new Chevy Silverado. Now curb appeal for the Chevy Silverado and I think the thing looks great. The new front end is beautiful and it's menacing if you're looking in the rearview mirror at it. I think that's a good choice of words. You know, there's no bigger argument in the entire world, I think, than when you take a Ford, a Dodge, and a Chevy guy and put them all in one room and say, okay, which truck's better looking? For me, I'll say right now, last year it would have been the Dodge, but this year it's the new Chevy products. I'm telling you, for the first time, not only is the Chevy the best looking, but it's also probably the best driving. I'll note one other little special feature about the way that it looks. For a long time, there was very little that differentiated the GMC and the Chevy products, besides maybe a horn pad and a grill. Now, they do look decisively different, and the Chevy has the big box fenders on the front and the rear versus round on the GMC. And for me, not only does it now look absolutely different, but absolutely better. Yeah, it's also got a rear slanted windshield more than ever before. kind of gives it an aerodynamic, kind of more power look to it, too. Yeah, it looks like it's moving forward, but Ian, how are we going to score it? We'll give it a four for curb appeal for the new Chevy Silverado. Performance is the next category for the Chevy Silverado and power is provided by a 5.3 liter V8 that's got active fuel management which basically shuts down cylinders while cruising. Yeah and I'm going to tell you a two-sided story here. The first one's about fuel mileage. Now it does have 315 horsepower and 338 pounds-feet of torque. With the active management system, you can actually dial it into the dash where you can watch when it's deactivating cylinders. Now, while I was testing this vehicle, I made sure and tested one kind of driving as if I normally would and one really watching the fuel mileage. I did one tank of gas really letting the vehicle use that system, kind of being light on the throttle, and I got decisively better fuel mileage than when I got my foot in it, and that gets to the fun part, I have to admit. 315 horsepower is more than enough to turn the tires on this thing. I remember when my wife first drove this vehicle, the first thing she said is she calls up and she goes, this thing's got a bunch of guts. I have to admit, for a girl that wouldn't know what horsepower and torque is, and you know I love you, honey, when you get in a vehicle and you say it's got guts, that makes me feel happy because I know it does too. For performance, we'll give it 3.75 for the Chevy Silverado. The next category for the Chevy Silverado is fit and finish, and I'm going to talk inside first. Okay. When you sit down and you look around, you can tell that the material choices and the build quality are better than they've ever been. Secondly, one thing that we really enjoyed about the Nissan Titan and other import trucks is that there are lots of cubby holes and places to put things, yeah. and in the new uh, Silverado, there are cup holders, spots to put your maps and your keys and your remote and all that stuff. I think they made it a lot more user friendly this year. Well, sure. I mean, when you're talking about usability, I mean, it is the working man's office these days. I'm going to talk about two things that go along. First, what goes along with that is the fact that it's as quiet as an Audi A6 on the interior. But it's almost as if we need to take this category in and split it into fit and finish. Now, right. the finish is great on this vehicle, but it's still a pickup truck. I mean, they're still producing like 55,000 of these things a month. The fit is different than the finish, and it's still a truck. There's still wider gaps. You got a box and a cab that has to move around to accompany when you're loading the vehicle up or driving off road. 
It's never going to be very high for a pickup truck because it's built to be rugged and long term. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just reflects in the score for fit and finish. And Ian? Yeah, we'll give it a 3.75 for fit and finish for the new Chevy Silverado. Drivability is the final category. For Wait a minute. You know we're going to argue on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are. just go ahead. All right. Well, the tester that we had had the short bed, five and a half feet. Not usable. That's going to knock points off for me anyway. I mean, you can't put a sheet of plywood in the back. You can't put a full two by four in the back. Go on. on a full one. But you have the active management system for the cargo in the bed with the sliding tie downs. That's an awesome feature. The new interior with all the user friendliness, the great audio system, the great ride, the quiet ride. It's drivable. Well, that's the difference between a guy born in Eastern Oregon and a guy born in Portland. Now, let's talk about realities of what trucks are used for. There's nothing wrong with this truck, and it is a lot of a, the bread and butter items for the Chevy Silverado and the GMC and everybody else that builds trucks. They're half ton, kind of city trucks. They're built for guys that want to lower them or just use them to you know, tow their small boat. I agree with that, but for me, yes, the drivability is there. Yes, I love the interior. Yes, I love the new uh, chassis dynamics, the rack and pinion steering. It drives like a car. It feels like a car. 20 inch wheels. All the things you could say. But for me, I got to say this, this truck was 34,000 and change. If I have 34,000 and change, I'm going to go down to the Chevy dealership and it's going to have a Duramax, an Allison transmission, and I won't care if it's got a vinyl bench seat in the front. I, for me, it's got to be usable. It's got to have an eight foot bed and uh, I give up all the amenities to have something that could do a little bit more at the workplace. But I'm only a fraction of the buyer. All right. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree. 3.5 for drivability for the Chevy Silverado. Let's see how Dennis Lee schooled the 2007 Silverado. In Q Factor, they gave it a 4.0. Curb appeal, how the vehicle looks from the curbside, another 4.0. Performance was a 3.75, and fit and finish also a 3.75. Finally, in drivability, the overall usefulness of the vehicle, it was a 3.5. The total score for the 2007 Silverado was 19 out of a possible 25. Still to come on fuel, a very special in the pit.